there's a moment where you're marching in this and you're yeah. doing uh, the salute and you're shouting out racist abuse. And yeah. I thought, God, I felt a bit queasy watching it. Yeah. I thought doing it, even though you're acting, there must have been a point where you thought, right, I'm quite happy when this day is over, actually. Yes, definitely. There's a few days like that when you're just doing really, really unpleasant scenes. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, even though everyone obviously knows you're acting and it's all, uh, you know, everyone's very aware, it's just horrible to, to say some of those words. Um, I'm particularly like screaming them at people that you are talking to between takes. And yeah, it's very, very weird. Um, but uh, but I suppose that was sort of helpful as well to just put you into that sense of like not being entirely comfortable. It says inspired by true events. Yeah, I mean it is. Yeah. Are, are there people like yes. him who go under the radar and are living a perfectly normal life by day, and then are these kind of crazy cult leaders by night? Is I mean, that, does that very exist? much so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that guy is actually is based on a real guy who was an absolute family man, lovely bloke to all intents and purposes to anyone around him that knew him. Um, that was you know planning a huge chemical attack. Um, it's, uh, in fact, there are a lot of the, the sort of higher up white supremacist leaders of the movement don't like the guys who are tattooed and skinheads and all that because it stands out and that's actually not very useful and doesn't give them a good public image, which bizarrely is something that they are very concerned about. Um, and, so, and so people like Jerry, the character Jerry, played by Sam Trammell, um, very much exist and are, as you say, are kind of the scariest ones because you would never in a million years um, pick them out of a lineup. And quickly, you can't watch a film like this without thinking of Louis Theroux's documentary about <laughs> the Westboro Baptist Church. Yes. In a, in a way. Yeah, totally. Do, uh, do you... Do that was, no, that was some of the stuff I was watching. Yeah. Definitely, it was all the Louis Theroux. He's, he, I think he did one that's Westboro Baptist and he did one that is actual just KKK and, and, and white supremacist and I I had, uh, I, I looked at a lot of a lot of those things and they're all... They're interesting because they do the th the theme that comes up in them a lot is how uh, sad a lot of these people are um, in their lives. Like how uh, for a lot of them, white supremacy is sort of just it's not so much that they agree with the ideology, is that they f want that sense of community, and so they just take on the ideology when they've because they've got all their new friends now. Um, which is that's the um, you know I do think about probably about half of the people in that movement are there because. They want to feel like they belong to something. Zane's hey. oh hey. hey. got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lips behind oh. your teeth.